Change was in the air all over BC. A big change for public safety, for ethics. Incumbent after incumbent made way for new mayors and big promises. And I believe that we can all work together to reclaim our title of best city in the world. In Vancouver, centre-right candidate Ken Sim and his party won in a landslide after a testy campaign focused on housing and policing. Can I please uh, speak on? Don't on worry, it's a debate, buddy. Like, uh, let's go. You, okay, well, councillor. And so this, this is why nothing gets done in the city. Sim is promising 100 new police officers and 100 new mental health nurses. The first things we will do is we will put a requis requisition in with the Vancouver Police Department to start the hiring process. Surrey. You sure did have something to say and you said it tonight. Policing was also a hot topic in Surrey and the new mayor is already working to reverse the decision to switch from the RCMP to a city force. I can tell you absolutely the cost savings staying with the RCMP so far exceed moving forward with uh, a municipal police force. Some experts say a shifting population may be the key to some surprising victories. We've seen a lot of young people leave the city and moving out into the distant suburbs to find more affordable housing. It wasn't that long ago that Vancouver families used to drive out to the Fraser Valley to visit grandma and grandpa. And now families are driving into Vancouver to visit grandma and grandpa. On issues of crime, dysfunctional governments, housing and affordability, the shakeups are a message, they say, to those in power at all levels across the country. The demand for change, the, the, the demand for solutions and really to have a sense that, they, that these challenges are being met. Challenges dozens of new BC politicians are tasked with meeting. Susanna Da Silva, CBC News, Vancouver.